What's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today We're gonna to be going over how to get the Omni Genji skin in Overwatch very cool skin. It's gonna be rare in January So if it's not January yet, you can still get the skin. I think it's January 4th It's the exact date it goes rare around there You can look that up on uh, the blizzard forums or something like that, but I'll show you how to get it in this video Let's get right into the video Okay, so the update just hit. I just uh, played enough games to get the Genji skin. I'll show it to you right now. So I haven't even seen it in game yet. Well, I've seen it. Of course, I've seen pictures and the stuff, but I haven't actually uh, seen it in game. So here it is, the Omni Gen Oni Oni Genji skin. It's Japanese. It's probably Oni. It looks uh, very nice. This is a uh, PC Max settings, Ultra everything. So let's look at a first person view, let's go training, practice range, let's check out a first person view of the skin, I look very sick from what the skin looks like so far. The skin just came out a few minutes ago, Sombra's there now, there's Kenji. Woo! There's skin in game. Oh, this is a beautiful skin. Okay, let's get her ult up. I want to see what the uh, I want to see what the ulting blade looks like in first person. I'm sure you guys do too. I wish I would change the color of the animations, like the the star animations and like the dash animations, to the same color as the skin. That would be really cool if they did that. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that blade! Oh, let's just look at the blade. That looks insane. Mmm. Totally worth it to get just, just for that blade. I think that looks even better than the uh, Summer Game skin. So this is probably my new favorite Genji skin. Alright guys, I'll show you how to get it now. Okay, here I am on my desktop. Of course, got all my games and stuff there. So I would go to... I have your system installed already. But I would find the Overwatch icon, wherever that is. I right there okay that'll open up the blizzard launcher or at least it should uh, you have to be on pc uh to get this game on uh to get this skin on console i don't it's here's a storm is on console it's not like smite i don't think it is uh so you'd have to go to a pc here's a storm will run on a laptop if it's a decently new laptop it should run so if you have a laptop around the house even if it's not a gaming laptop you should be able to play here's a storm on it uh but you have to play here's a storm I don't even know if this skin's available for console, honestly, but uh, I know some people do play Overwatch on the console. So, in the thing, it'll show all the World of, all the uh, Blizzard games, not World of Warcraft, but yeah, World of Warcraft, Diablo, Starcraft, Hearthstone, and Heroes of Storm. So you have to go into Heroes of Storm. Uh, so you gotta launch the game, and I'll show you the fastest way to do it in Heroes of Storm because it's it just tells you about what to do. So I guess I'll just keep capturing the same way. It seems like it's working so far. Uh, so you log into Heroes of the Storm. Together, together. Now I already have this game, but you look right here. Uh, so special event. Uh, you need a friend. So you need one friend. Um, I'd recommend maybe the comment section on this video. I'll look down in the comments. If there's anyone that needs uh, someone to play with, maybe leave a comment. You guys can uh, share your Blizzard account name uh, and then play together, or you can just go in like the just type and chat right here to find someone to play with or if you have a real friend that'll work too you know um so just uh queue up with your friend invite them to a party and then go to play uh the fastest way to do this is definitely just going doing co-op with, with on the beginner difficulty and uh, just pick whatever hero you want to play if you have overwatch you probably have tracer unlocked not the best hero but just play whatever hero you want and uh, you have to play 15 matches with your friends. So after you play 15 matches of co-op or quick play or uh, ranked, any any of those three I think will work, you can then unlock the skin. You'll know you unlocked it because you'll have the player portrait and uh, you also unlock Zarya in Heroes of Storm. And if you want to keep playing Heroes of Storm, of course, it's a promotional event to get people to play Heroes of Storm. If you play 30 matches with a friend, you unlock more stuff in Heroes of Storm, including a mount and stuff like that. 
So a bunch of other cool stuff you can get in Heroes of the Storm. That's how you get the Genji skin. You just play 15 matches in Heroes of the Storm. I recommend playing on the beginner difficulty and just all going mid on the maps that allow. There's a few maps where you have to activate cannons, uh, which kind of sucks on those maps. You have to actually play the game properly, but you can just rush mid with your whole team uh, on the beginner difficulty on AI. So good luck in the skin, guys. It's a really good skin, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Leave a like if you enjoyed or if it helped, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.